watching so today is the day that I'm gonna be sharing with you my weight loss and progress on the starch solution since I started three months ago so for those of you that don't know in July of this year I switched from raw till four which I've been doing for a year previously and I started doing the starch solution and I've been seeing a lot of amazing progress so far and I told you guys that once three months was up I would show you how much weight I've lost and how much I weighed before and how much I weigh now and maybe some before and after pictures maybe depending on how brave I feel <laughs> so as most of you know when I went vegan last August I weighed like 158 pounds and I was pretty happy with my body, like I didn't hate my body or anything like that, but I definitely still wanted to lose more weight and get toned and things like that. I'm only 5'5", five five, so I'm pretty short, but after the course of a year on Raw Till 4, I actually gained 30 pounds. So when I switched from Raw Till 4 to the Starch Solution, this was my weight. So, fair warning here, my before pictures are really bad. Like, really bad. So, don't say anything really mean, you guys, because this is like really hard for me to actually share this with you. So, here's what I looked like before when I weighed 188 pounds at my highest weight I've ever been in my entire life. So I know that my weight loss isn't like a ton of weight or anything like that, but I also just want to reiterate that this isn't like a crash diet. I'm not calorie counting. I'm not restricting my calories in any way. And this really is just something that I plan to do for the rest of my life. I love eating this way. It's such an amazing way to eat, to be able to just have as much as you want. And you can really make any dish that you can make on a standard American diet on a starch-based diet. And you can eat all the cooked food you want. It's like eating comfort food all day. I love this diet so much or this lifestyle so much. And I plan to do this for the rest of my life. So even if I did keep losing weight at this rate, I would be completely happy with that. And I am in no way going to rush this at all. I've overcome so much in the last year just being vegan and just other issues in my life. So this really is more of like a health journey for me and I really am just focusing on getting healthier, eating as much low fat plant vegan foods as I can and getting in daily exercise and being happy and being stimulant free and being drug free and being free of all the addictions that I was gripped in for my entire life. So I, there are a couple things that I just wanted to share with you guys really quickly because I figured that you guys would have some questions and I wanted to answer the most obvious ones off the top of my head if I could. So I figured that some of you be, would be wondering how many calories I was eating during the day, every day, and as you all know, I don't count my calories because it used to just literally drive me crazy and it made me feel like this wasn't something long term and like I was in some type of eating disordered mindset and I just really hated doing it. So I stopped counting my calories, but I did do this for you guys because I figured that you guys would be asking me how many calories that I was eating per day. So in the last three weeks, I injured my back and I was really inactive. I was just walking Bubba every day and I was like, you know, I should probably just like count my calories a couple days and just see what they are and 
vlog it so that when I do this video I can share it with you guys. So I picked three random days and on those days my calories were 1,945 for one day. The other day was 1,873 and the last day was 2,211. So as you can see it's totally different day to day. All I was doing these days was walking Bubba and doing stuff around the house and doing work and things like that so I wasn't like strenuously exercising or riding my bike 20 miles or anything like that. Uh, so I, my body didn't really need a ton of calories but as you can see it's like varied. I do only eat when I'm hungry. I do only eat what I want to eat and I do only eat low fat plant based foods, mainly starches. As you guys will see in the next 30 days of my videos of what I eat every single day and all the exercises that I do, you'll see that pretty much all I eat is rice and potatoes and rice and potatoes. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. I just took those three days and also on those days my fat percentage every day out of those three was under 8%. My protein was under 12% and each of those days my carbs were over 80% of my total calorie intake. So the other thing that I wanted to say is just a couple of improvements that I have noticed since I did my From Fruit to Starch video, which I can link somewhere around here. Um, so my mood has been incredible the past like few weeks and I think maybe it's because I've been pushing myself to do so much exercise and I haven't been like hard on myself and I injured myself so I've been a lot more sedentary but my mood is like incredible and I just feel so happy lately and maybe it's just all the carbs catching up to me and the fact that my body has enough energy to run off of the right energy, you know, what it needs, carbohydrates, and it's finally just all balancing out and I don't know what it is, but I feel really good and I just feel so happy and I'm a lot more motivated. Like when I, especially when I was on Frottel 4 or just when I was eating, like force, forcing myself to eat more calories than I really needed, I was really, really lazy and my house was a disaster and I kind of felt like my mind was a disaster, like I wasn't really happy, I was more depressed, and it was just different than how I feel now. Like now I want to like do everything, and everything is like fun, like it's fun to organize my house and to clean my house, and to do laundry, things that I would hated to do before, but now I'm like, I'm in my spare bedroom right now, which used to have like tons of junk in it but one day I was just like I'm gonna clean up my spare bedroom and I cleaned it out and I just gave all this stuff away and now I have this bedroom that I can like do all my crafts in and it's totally clean and organized and it just feels so much better like I've just had this urge to like purge all of the junk out of my life that I don't need and I feel like I have a lot more space and just room to grow into the person that I want to be now and I don't have all this stuff bogging me down. So that's another thing, I've just been really organized and really clean and like I've, even at work I've been more productive and I've just been happier. Like I'm just so happy every day waking up and like just smashing the day and like drinking my water and getting my potatoes and my carbs in and just like life is way better. And I think honestly that it's because I've been listening to my body and eating whenever I want, whatever I want. I haven't been stressing about it or stressing about my weight or stressing about what I look like or anything like that. And it's just this whole like sense of freedom and I feel like since I'm not force feeding myself, my body has more time to like do other things, which is the last thing that I was just gonna say is that my hair and my nails have been growing like crazy. And I don't know why, but I think that it's because my body, like I said, since it's not constantly digesting food all the time and I'm actually eating appropriate amounts at meal times, that my body has more time to like work on 
growing hair and clearing my skin and detoxing and doing things like that. So thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video and watch out for my next 30 <laughs> videos because I will be doing what I eat for 30 days and you'll be able to see what I eat every single day and all the exercise that I've been doing. And just a little side note about that, I do, as you guys know, have a full-time job. I have to, I have a lot of other responsibilities, so hang in there with me. I will be doing a video every single day, but every single one might not be like a full-on vlog, like, hey, what's going on? Here's the day, like type of video. It might just be more like, here's what I have for breakfast, here's what I have for lunch, and here's what I have for dinner, and I love you guys, and goodbye. So for me to do 30 videos in 30 days is going to be a lot of work, but I am going to do it because you guys said that you wanted to see it. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye bye.